then I do want to get your historical perspective though on this. Going back to the Franklin era, era, what would you say was was the the worst loss up to this moment? I have one specific game in mind. I mean, up to this else. moment, I would have told. Are, are you talking since, since you've been following Penn State back in the what early nineties or so? I mean, are you talking about the worst loss? Do you mean like worse is in like if we had won, it would have maybe been a huge like step or. Not like so much of, that, but just like a game where, where, where they were the much better team and just kind of found ways to, to lose the, like this. I have one game to specifically remind me of. The 2018 I'm kind of Michigan State. State. I mean, we pretty kind of got outplayed by Sparty in that one, to be fair. We were playing kind of like this game. We were playing with fire the whole game and got burned. Um, maybe the 2018 game against Ohio State because they were just dominating them for – especially in the first half. I mean, the defense was – Surprisingly, yeah. suffocating them, and then all we managed were like 13 points, and then they fumbled right, you know, in their own territory right before the half, which Ohio State for halftime. And then and the then thing that killed about that game is, is they yeah. lost because Ohio State threw screens, the, 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 and that the was really frustrating too. Like, you know, yeah. they, all those missed tackles on the screen passes, which you know, yeah, you know, I mean, it's just uh. Maybe that was probably – we're talking about most frustrating. I guess we're not talking about how bad the team Yeah, was. most frustrating as far as, as a team that they just should not have lost to, basically. Uh, when, when they were head and shoulders a better team and, and, and just kind of went out. And I mean, in that. heck, I mean, even – I mean, if Cliff had stayed like – obviously, I think they were better than Iowa when Cliff was in there healthy. Um, yeah. You know, I mean yeah, – what, what, The what game I have in mind, and this is going way back, is 99 Minnesota. Oh, they were just a much Franklin better era. team. You they were playing Franklin. a lousy. What's that? You said Franklin era, so I was. No, no, I, no, I, meant, I said sorry. I meant pre-Franklin era. Oh, pre. Okay. Yeah, I would say you say that now. Okay. Yeah, I'd be thinking '99 Minnesota, and I mean that was look that was a feisty Minnesota team. That was you know I think they got to a bowl game that year, but they yeah they were. Yeah, but when you look at the but that's State, not a team. In a game. <laughs> not a team Penn State had any business losing to though. I, mean, I just yeah. remember they. Yeah, Penn, that was a game where they just kind of sleepwalked through it, and you know, yeah, you definitely it. reminded me of that game. Um, you know, I, I can still remember yeah. that clear, clearly to this day. But <laughs> just same exact feeling, like like how did they just go out? How did they manage to to, to show up and, and do absolutely nothing for four quarters like they did that game? All right. Well, I guess which brings us to next. You know, the program going forward. Uh, sharing a co- been sharing some comments here. Uh, Penn State every competitive game. <laughs> UConn now. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, you know, step one. I, I don't feel as bad as Jess, man. I'll, I'll put it that way. As disappointed yeah, as I am, I'm not. I mean, it's a bit of a stretch. Now, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I cringe to think how the rest of the schedule is going to go uh, this year. But as far as being, I mean, it's going to, you know, even if like Franklin were to leave or you know, take another job this off season, that's still we would still be far head and shoulders above UConn as a program. In terms of tap, so, um, but it, you, you know, want to speculate a little. Go ahead, Tim. Like you were saying, you want to speculate. Would you like to speculate a little bit of looking ahead these next five games? I mean, we might as well rip the bandit. I mean, obviously, for I was I was originally planning on doing a bit of an Ohio State preview, and that was predicated on the fact Penn State would taking care of business, like I figured they might today. Um, but forget about that. I mean, unfortunately, I guess I'll have to watch it next week, you know, just because what I do here for BST, but, uh, you know, um, you know, the rest of you maybe go find something else to do on your Saturday night. Next I'm, week. I, I, I think you're going to see a lot of Henderson, um, just kind of running free. Yeah. Like Henderson dashing us. Up. And then he Stroud. might be the best running back in the nation, honestly. And, and he's gonna, he's going to be making some plays. I, I think. And then he'll mix in some Stroud hitting Olave and, uh, Garrett Wilson for some big gains. Yeah, and I think any hope of seeing Clifford healthy next week is is probably out the window. I think we're going to see a very limited Clifford, which is going to, yeah, I, I don't know. I, it's got the potential to get ugly quickly if Ohio State that's scores a couple Without early. Often isn't going to be able to do much. I mean, I guess I'd say, do you see? A, do you think Penn State wins another game and at least gets bowl eligible? I'd say so. I mean, it's I, it goes back different. to what we were saying before. It's going to come down to Clifford's health. If, if he's going to be like this the whole, the whole, the rest of the way, and and he's not going to get any healthier and just kind of try to do what he's doing, um, 
I don't know. That then they may not. I mean, they might be able to eke one out against Rutgers, um, maybe Maryland. But but the other thing too is I don't know what's 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 the expected of the run defense. If the run defense today is what we're going to see the rest of the year without Mustafer, then Michigan and Michigan State are, are going to be difficult to get past because they have strong running games. I mean, I'm not I'm not overly impressed with Michigan State. I mean, I give them credit because they're finding ways to win and, and they're definitely you know. Um, overachieving. I thought they were going to finish last in the Big Ten, to be honest. So I'll give them all the credit in the world. But I think they're definitely beatable. But if the the run defense is going to play like this, then then no, they're 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 not going <laughs> to they're not going to have much luck against Michigan State either. Now, um, I feel like Rutgers might be the best shot, and that's and of course you know I, I thought Illinois was you know was going to be a win you know today. So I mean. And obviously, there's no nothing is guaranteed. That's just uh, maybe you know your, the hope is like Cliff is a bit healthier in a few weeks, so you know he can at least at least do well enough to get a win in November, a win or yeah, two. It's going to come down to his health and just figuring out whatever whatever the heck went wrong with the run defense and making sure that doesn't happen again. But it's just unfortunate, you know. In just a few short weeks, we've gone from you know hope of you know maybe contending for a playoff spot to now we're just limping through and just hoping to, you know, salvage something out of this season. Cause I can frankly see this spiring. This feels like 2020 on steroids at this point, 